Uh, top story number nine for 2011, uh, the debate about the Florida primary. The primary, the presidential primary in Florida is going to be at the end of January this year. That's earlier than it originally would have been. This wasn't a huge story that we talked about a whole lot this past year, but which is surprising because it, it did have huge national implications. It forced the primaries of other states earlier, Iowa, New Hampshire, South Carolina, all these states that want to have their primaries first in the nation, all had to move theirs up earlier. The consequences are uh, Florida, which, which by the way, we've, we've done this because we want, a, we want to be part of the, we want to be a deciding state when it comes to the primary. Um, you know, late in the process, the nominee often is already essentially decided. Well, the consequences are that it has cost Florida half its delegates to the next convention, the next Republican convention. Interesting, because that convention is in Florida. <laughs> well, a lot of people from Florida Republicans think that we should be a determining state. Sure. Uh, Florida is a diverse state that looks a lot like the country as a whole. More importantly, it's also divided pretty much down the middle. It's a purple state. You know, the, the registration is, you know, about even, and, and it's flipped in terms of which president presidential candidate his vote for, which party went for Obama, but also went uh, before that, uh, went for George W. Bush. And then, of course, it was basically a tie in 2000. So, you know, it's, it's, it's a state that's representative of the country as a whole. And a lot of people in Florida think, you know, we ought to be in on, you know, sort of the early decisions about who the, the early part of the gauntlet that decides who survives into the later parts of the primary.